Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another mod showcase. My name is Leaf and as always, it's amazing to have all you guys here again once more. We have a lot of mods to cover this week. We have a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 mods this week. Uh, I should really start counting before these videos actually start, but you know, I'm not going to do that because I love that little part of the video. So welcome guys. If you guys are new here, welcome. We just, we take a look at all the mods that release over the course of one week. We're actually going to pause that because everything's really loud. Um, and yeah, we have a lot of different biomes to cover as you guys can see today. Also, I have like that new section back there, but we're going to get to that when we actually do. But first of all, I just want to start this off with a bang. This is by Level Wolf, all right? This is the Sumatran Tiger. Now, Level Wolf kind of left us for a little bit right there. We started to miss her a little bit, but you know, she came right back and she hit us with a bang. Now, the Sumatran Tiger is absolutely beautiful. I have the white version of it right here, and we can actually see the normal version of it. Oh, we can actually see one of the cubs right there. That is absolutely adorable. Oh my god. If we find the adult, though, there we go. Yeah, these guys have such a beautiful, like, you know, dark orange coloration to them. And I feel like these are going to be one of my favorites to use just because they are so drop-dead gorgeous. I really do love how well, like, Level Wolf did on all the texturing on this. And, like, even the model looks extremely unique. You can tell that they're even a little bit more fluffier than you would normally imagine the other tigers to be. And, yeah, if we just go into the Zoopedia right here, um... If we just look up tiger, yeah, we have Bengals, we have Siberians, and we have Sumatrans. And I think there is something else. There could be something else, but I'm not really sure. But yeah, these guys are absolutely striking creatures. So amazing job to level wolf on that. We're going to take a little look over here. Now this one, I've been meaning to put on the list for so long. This is the Modeled Hyena by Dr. Hyena and Giorno Pizza. And this is just a different type of spotted hyena, I think it was. And they just gave it the name Modeled because, you know, we still want to have, like, the original Spied Hyena, but this is just a little bit of a different version of it. And yeah, oh my god, I can't get over how good Dr. Hyena does with, like, all of his hyena mods. We're actually going to wake one of these guys up and bring them into the light so we can see them better. We heard them, like, kind of give a little, little bit of a uh, hyena laugh right back there. But yeah, look how gorgeous these guys are. Look at the mane. He did such an amazing job on these. I don't know. I'm just left amazed, especially with, like, you know, we have all these fans of animals in the community who, like, really do care about how well animals look, especially, like, these little baby hyenas. I love them. But yeah, just seeing, like, the passion and devotion that, like, you know, Dr. Hyena has for all these guys, it really is amazing to see. So amazing job on that, buddy. Now, this is our little friend from last week that we didn't really get to go into too much detail of. So this is the Carnotaurus by TNT, and he imported it from the Isle, I believe. Either the Isle or Ark, I honestly forget. But these guys are beautiful. They make the cassowary noises, which is actually really funny. But I am just so amazed with how well he was able to take a theropod and put it into the game. So... I know a lot of us really do care about like Jurassic World Evolution 2. I know that was pretty much like the big news of this week. But yeah, these guys are beautiful and I think it'll satiate us for a little bit before we get that game. But yeah, amazing job on that TNT. These are absolutely amazing creatures. And I can already see some people like make habitats for them, make some like Jurassic Park inspired habitats for them. And I really do love to see that. Like just the drive in the community, we can see a little bit of a little sneak peek over there. But before we get into that, we have the Transcaspian Uriel. And this is by Fraser. Now, Fraser has been going ham and giving us so many new Uriels for the game. And each one is just so beautiful and unique. So this one is the Transcaspian one. If we check out the Zoopedia, because I don't really know too much about Uriels. These guys are one of the largest Ural, Urials, and they live like around that area of the Caspian Sea, so it's really cool to see. And especially animals from that region are often overlooked, but they're just so beautiful. There's such like unique, diverse wildlife in that little like Kazakhstan, Afghanistan area that like, you know, you don't really hear too much about, but I'm really happy that, you know, our good friend is able to import, not even import, make all these streams happen for all these guys. So if we check out the female, oh yeah, I just skipped right over her. 
yeah, they're so beautiful. Especially like, I don't know, I just really do love seeing like all the new GOAT mods, especially with another one. So this is the Punjab Uriel. And these guys are in the Punjabi mountains. Wow, I can't even talk anymore. So they are from like Pakistan area. I think they might even be in India too, but I'm not really too sure. Anyways, we're just gonna bring that guy over here because we really care about the males in this. But yeah, they're absolutely beautiful. I really do love these guys. Like that coloration, the coat is marvelous how well they were able to do with that. And yeah, I absolutely love them. Maybe just a little bit too blurry for my taste, but um, no. Like I'm sure our good old, our good old friend Fraser can go back and do a little bit of a texture job on that. But I think even when I'm saying that, I'm probably just making shit up because they still are so beautiful. Look at the baby. I'm just floored with how, like, the level of detail they were able to give to these. So, you know what, Frazier? Don't pay attention to my last comment. These guys are absolutely beautiful. And yeah, you gave me a new love for goats. So, we're actually going back to a little bit of a revolution that we had a while ago. So, this is the Adeli Penguin. And Jen actually helped me with this mod, and she did such an amazing job on that. I've had it sitting in my, like, folder forever. And I was like, why haven't I released this yet? But yeah, these guys are absolutely adorable. Um, that guy's kind of like stuck right there, so we're gonna try and move him out of there. But yeah, these guys are easily one of the cutest penguins out there. I really do love their face. Like, the little white around the eyes, it makes them look so angry, and I love it for that. So yeah, there's not much else to say. It's a gen mod. You know, it's gonna be absolutely amazing. So amazing job on that gen. Um... But yeah, they're about to have a baby, but the babies are oversized and we haven't found a, you know, a little bit of a solution to that yet. So we're going to get to that later. But um, yeah, so over here we have the Parentian. This is by my buddy Trico. And I was able to help him out with that Trico art, as you guys might know him. So he has been working on this Parenti forever. And I'm just so happy it's finally out. These guys are beautiful. He did all these patternings by hand, which, you know, it's like... I could never do that. I don't have the patience for that. But you know who did? Trico. And he did such an amazing job on that. So these guys are beautiful. They are the perfect little lizards for all your zoos. And he said he's going to update it with a little bit of reg editing. So he's going to fix some stuff around the face as well. And yeah, just amazing job on that Trico. And, you know, obviously we also have... I actually forgot to put these down. So we're actually doing this live. So we do have the Parenti signs, and these guys are absolutely cool. Nick made these for Trico, and they look absolutely stellar. Like, I love these guys. They're perfect for any, like, you know, they're perfect for any reptile house or something like that. And I think there was also another one warning. What are these? Road sign. So he also included the saltwater crocodile sign as well, just because, you know, why didn't we get them the base game for Australia? Who knows? But, you know, amazing work on that, Trico, and amazing work on that, Nick. So, we're gonna take a little trip over here to the Tibetan Blue Bear. Now, this one is by AD and also Giorno Pizza. Giorno Pizza graciously stepped up to the plate and ported this over for AD. So, amazing job on that for the both of you. Uh, I'm just really happy we get even more bears in the game because they're absolutely beautiful. And yeah, look at these guys. I absolutely love their coat. Like, there's so much variation going on in here with, like, all, like, the different colors. I love the brown on the head, the white on the muzzle, and, like, all the white back there, and all the blue, like, back there. Amazing job on that, you guys. And we're actually gonna see one have a baby, so we're actually gonna wait for it to be born. Because why not, you know? We gotta see the baby. Oh my gosh. That is one of the cutest babies in the game. <laughs> Look at its little white face. That is absolutely amazing. So yeah, amazing job on that to the both of you guys. Now, we're actually going to take a little trip over to New Zealand. Obviously, the South Island. So we have the South Island Giant Moa, and this is by Jorno. And Jorno, Jorno's typically a coder, you know? But when they step up to the plate for, you know, doing a little bit of texture work, it's absolutely amazing. So this is the South Island Moa. So that is the baby, and that is the adult. And they are, they're just absolutely beautiful creatures. Like, I love seeing more paleo mods in here. Like, just seeing, like, the recent boom of them. We already have two in here right now. We have the Carno and we have the uh, Moa. 
I'm just really happy to see more paleo mods in here. So amazing job to you, Jorno. You are breathing new life into New Zealand, which, you know, it's often overlooked in Planet Zoo. So over here, that's not the way I wanted to enter. I wanted to enter over here. So this is the Rim Gazelle, and this is by Zyfy. So Zyfy is making a scene on the new mod scene. And he graciously gave us the Rim Gazelle. Now, this is an amazing first attempt. These guys are absolutely beautiful. Now, the only thing I have with it, my good old buddy Zyfy, it's just the horns don't really have that much symmetry. Make sure to click, like, make sure to make sure you're having, like, symmetry hooked on and stuff like that. Just make sure you're watching out for that. But other than that, this is an amazing first mod. Like, I am floored. I can never do that as like my first mod. So amazing job on that sci-fi. I am floored. But yeah, now we're actually going to take a little trip to South America as well as North America. Now we have a lot of stuff to get into over here. So let's just start off with our little friend who's swimming down here. So this is the red tailed catfish. This is ported over by me from Dutch Designs, and it is such a beautiful, beautiful fish. Now, I think you guys might have been noticing that I've been on a little bit of a South America craze. I feel like South America has some of the coolest fish out there, and the red tail cat is easily one of my favorites. I just love how much, like, texture they have going on. I love all the patterning that they have, so Dutch Designs graciously allowed me to port this over, and it looks absolutely amazing. So thank you guys for that, and yeah, be sure to check that one out on the Nexus especially with this one. So this is the red-bellied piranha, and I really do hope you guys enjoyed the speed mold that hopefully went out yesterday. If it's not, I thoroughly apologize. It should be out like the day after, but I really hope it is out tomorrow. Um, so these guys are ported from Endless Ocean 2. I used to love that game as a kid, and I still do. And I just really do love their piranha model. I'm gonna find this one right here. He's swimming. But yeah, these guys are absolutely adorable. They even have the teeth, which, you know, a lot of the Zoo Tycoon models really didn't have that happen. But yeah, these guys have that beautiful, like, you know, not, I wouldn't really call them beautiful. They're kind of ugly, but, um, you know, I really do love how they look. They're pretty much in the Endless Ocean style, which, you know, it's, it's kind of noticeable, but I feel like, you know, like, in a nice little school of piranhas, it does really look beautiful in the end. So that is mine, but we also have this one by our good friend, if I can select the model. Yeah, so this is a pumpkin seed, and this is actually done by Phonetic. Now, Phonetic took a little bit of a break from, you know, making their own mods, but I graciously helped in and... Yeah, I really wanted to get the pumpkin seed out there as soon as possible. So you guys might have noticed this one went out on Friday alongside another one that is in that tank over there. And I absolutely love these guys. They are the perfect like little pond fish right next to the bluegill. And I really do love how well Fennec did with like all the texturing on it. It looks so amazing. Like all the color that they have going on there. It's really amazing. So amazing job on that. Now we're popping over here to our little marine tank. And we have a lot of different things happening in here, so we're actually going to work our way up in size. So this is the Humphead Rass. Now these guys are originally ported from Wildlife Park by Hendrix to Zoo Tycoon 2, and then therefore ported by me over to Planet Zoo, and I absolutely love these guys. These guys are the perfect tropical marine fish. I really do love how they look. They have the most striking color ever. And I love like all the texturing happening. On the face as well, they just look like such, like, they look like crazy creatures. I really do love it. So amazing job on that, Hendrix. Thank you so much. I remember using that as, like, one of my own mods back in Super Tycoon 2. And it's really awesome to have them, like, in this new version of the game. So we're actually going to bring our attention to this guy right here, the second biggest. This is the Great White Shark. Now, this one was originally made by Zero's Vals mod, or Zero as I like to call him, from Planet... No, from Zoo Tycoon 2. And he did such an amazing job with that model. Like, everything that's happening right here, like, he was the king of sharks back in the day. And we can see them happening right here as well. I just really do love them. Amazing job on that Zero. And, yeah, I hope you guys can enjoy having them in-game right now. And, of course, we gotta address the whale in the room. This is the whale shark. And I'm actually going to move him up here. Just because I want to get a better look at all the texturing going on. So, these guys are... Is there anything down there? No, there isn't. 
So these guys are ported from Endless Ocean 2, again. So these guys are really beautiful, I really do love them. Uh, they move kind of fast, so they're more so for, you know, all your screenshots and stuff, but still they really are beautiful creatures. They're kind of a little derpy looking, but, you know, I still love them nonetheless. But I really do hope you guys get some mileage out of them. If you guys are making, like, a big tropical map, I feel like they'd be perfect for that. Or if you're doing, like, a, uh, Georgia Aquarium style aquarium, they're awesome for that as well. So yeah, I think that is pretty much it for all our mods today. You just let me know what you guys thought was your favorite. Uh, easily one of my favorites has to be Level Wolf. Like, welcome back to the game, Level Wolf. You did such an amazing job on these boys. So I really do want to thank you guys for sticking around. If you guys are new here, be sure to drop a like, drop a comment if you can. Don't mind my audacity just popping up in the corner right there. But hey, that's just, that's just how I roll. Um, and yeah, consider subscribing if you're not already, and yeah, like that is being said, uh, we have a little bit of Frankenstein stuff going on right there. No thank you. And we have a little bit of pooping too, so that's great. This is just like the best showcase, guys. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care and have a most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye bye now.